Hello and welcome to another edition of Steric Video Support Series. I'm Eric Perkins and today we're going to be talking about top load testing on bottles. So we've got quite a variety of bottles here from your two liters to your small smaller bottles here, your individual little everyone knows standard water bottle. We have chocolate milk, we have carbonated beverages, we have sports drinks, we also have iced teas, the rest are water again sports drinks. Each bottle has its own design, its own characteristics when testing. These designs here were made for shipping. They're square, so they pack more into a container. Therefore, you can fit more bottles in a container when shipping across the ocean. Uh, round bottles obviously are made for easy handholds, and uh, each one will test differently. We're not going to test them all, but we will test a variety of the different bottles in the next series. Okay, welcome back. We're going to make the program now. As you can see, we've set up everything. I'm going to be off frame for this particular shot so you can see more of the screen and the tester. So let's get started. So we're down, we create a new test. We go into pre test. We're going to set our home position. So all we're going to do there, we're going to go down to the datum. We're going to create a datum, our primary datum, which would be primary is datum zero. We put a zero there for load, we put a zero in there for distance. Next, we're gonna come down. We're gonna to go to a load. We're gonna to go to a very light load. So we're gonna say 0.2 of a pound. We're gonna do that at three inches a minute. And down here where it says data gathering, we're gonna say no data gathering, okay? All this is gonna do is allow us to move down and touch off on the top of the bottom. Next, we're gonna do another data. This time here, after we touch the top of the bottle, we want to zero out our distance. So we're going to put a zero in there, and we're going to call this datum one. For the next step of the program, we're going to go to a distance. The target distance is going to be 0 0.25 of an inch at 8 inches a minute. Next is the post-test. We're going to have it return home, and we're only going to put 25 runs on the screen. We hit the green check, we hit the green check again, we click save. Now you'll type in top load. I'll be in the screen this time. Apologize. Top load. Back out of the screen. We'll hit done. Now let's go run our test. So we hit start test now. Now you can see the crosshead's coming down. Almost touch the top of the bottle. Boom, well, there it touches it. There's our test. So come back up. And there we go. Okay, last time we did a small bottle. So now we're going to be doing a two liter bottle. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So we're going to hit start test. And you'll see the system coming down. Touch off on the bottle. It's going down. There we go. And that's the first test. Let's go ahead and reset the bottle for one more test. So we'll put it in there. And let's do one more. So here we go. Here's the second test. See the system coming down. Point load to the bottle. And that's it. So next one, let's go ahead and start our next test. So we hit start. See it coming down. Line the load to the bottle. And then return. Do it one more time. 